What's up, Power Two Crew? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan. This is Ty Nick. What up? All right, guys. So we're gonna get back to uh, some of we've already done. New edition, baby. I want to get back into their earlier days. The song we're doing is uh, "Cool It Now." Have y'all heard of it? I have heard the song. Yes. No. It sounds like a classic title, though. Oh, no, classic. Sure. Cool it. You know? I'm just saying, like nowadays, you would never hear a song. Called yeah. Cool It Now. People don't say Cool It really anymore. The first time we did Can You Stand the Rain. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. And uh, I really like that song. It's a great song. And then we did If It Isn't Love. Yes. That's also a great and song. And that was a great song. Yes. So they both hit. Yeah. Uh, not only for me, but for the channel. But like one thing that I did not know was uh, this song is actually not one of their biggest songs. Really? Which I thought it was. Yeah, I always heard this song. Like the highest right this song got was gold. So it's still technically a hit, just not... Their biggest one. Just not a super hit. Right. Yeah. Like, okay. people know this song. Yeah, this it's song just is not on their the radio. highest yeah. one. This was when they were younger, too. So, you know, it's not, it doesn't sound like what you've heard. Exactly. It's going to sound completely different. Yes, it will. This song is on uh, the New Edition album. Yeah. And straight uh, up just called New Edition. Yep. New Edition. Came so out in 1984. So, that's enough talking. So, we'll get right into this. This is New Edition. Cool it now. Hey! It's us, right here. Yeah, this was, <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. This was young back then. This is like. young, young new edition right here, baby. So I was looking at the lyrics, and while I was looking at them, I heard the voice. And then it said Ralph, and I was like, Yeah, Ralph, you know. Yep. What? He yeah. matured big time. <laughs> oh, yeah, he yeah. grew up. That does yeah. not sound like Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Completely younger Ralph. Get to cool it now. Yeah. So when the chorus came in, I was like, Okay, I've heard that somewhere. It's, it's been it. a commercial. Sampled somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. been yeah, sampled, I, yeah. Who knows where I heard it. So already it's memorable because yeah. I remember it. Yeah. yeah it's cool enough. Cool. Yeah. God is love. I'm like, ooh, yeah. watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice right there. He's got the hair growing out the back. Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all see uh, Young Bobby? No, Bobby I didn't Brown? catch that. Yeah, Young Bobby. Is he in, in this? Yes, he is. Young mm -hmm. Bobby. I think he's in the red, the red sweater. And something again, I noticed, just like the last video, I'm pretty sure they're all wearing different shades of color, right? Mm -hmm. So they all stand out. So yeah. that's definitely intentional. And I've never played on a backboard like that in my life. Not like that. The beat here, though, is kind of 80s pop, which I guess isn't yeah. too surprising. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of like a Cyndi Lauper yep. type that's, of song. That's, to be it's exactly what I was thinking about. It's one of those nostalgic type of sounds, for sure. Yeah, that, that is Bobby. Yeah. yeah. Got the gold chains on, too. So hard not to see. Yeah, I know. Look at that jewelry, boy. Pre chorus. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a nice touch. You must know the pace, you can't mess with a mind. She feels the same, she'll let you know. Just prepare yourself and be ready to go. And I hope this message stays in your mind. Cause you almost lost a girl hey. who was right on time. Here's one more thing that you got to know. Just cool it down and stay in control. Cool it down. <laughs> cool it down. 
In control! Hey! <laughs> I've never heard them rap before. Yeah, like yeah they used the, to do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely different. I was about to say, was that just in their early I think days? This is, yeah, I think this is like they where they're starting pop. to experiment. Yeah. They're experimenting. Early on, like, they were more pop, and then they kind of, when they got older, R&B. more R&B. Yeah. yeah, I do like kind of like the older type of hip-hop, because they say like, the rhymes are like more simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like, it kind of it gives me like more of a chuckle, because back then, people were like, oh... Like, they are snapping right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you hear it now, and it's like, oh, they really weren't, uh, you know, these rhymes are kind of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, at the time, though. Cheesy. At the time, though, I, I guarantee people thought that this oh, was fun. And it's still good. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. That's just something I've noticed. I think got a girl who takes her time. You must know the pace. You can't mess with her mind. She feels the same. She'll let you know. Just prepare yourself and be ready to go. And I hope this message stays in your mind. Because you almost lost a girl who was right on time. There's one more thing that you got to know. Just cool it down. Stay in control. Cool it down. Everybody gets a happy ending. Yeah. You get a girl. You get a girl. You get a girl. <laughs> videos were way better back then. They actually put thought and, you know, wanted to make good videos that, you know, made sense. Nowadays, it's just people just, you know, in, in a random place just singing the song. Like, this yeah. actually had a storyline to it. Yeah. What happened to music videos, like, in your own backyard? I feel like that's kind of a problem we have nowadays in music. It's funny because, like, I criticize music for being, like, too simple sometimes. But at the same time, there's a difference between being simple and then overproduced. And a lot of music is overproduced nowadays. It's like, dude, just strip it down, lay back. Cool it down. Cool it down, man. Yeah. Just cool it down. Again, this is just kind of a a classic, what was this, early 80s? Mm -hmm. You said early 80s type of track. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it's good. Yeah, and they got plenty more at yeah. this age. Yeah, they have a lot of hits back then when they were kids. There's only one person that does music videos right anymore, and that's Chris Brown. Oh, He's really? the only one that puts thought in anything that he ever does when he makes his music videos. Well, we know you like Chris Brown, so. Oh, no, it's not just me. It's a, it's a fact. <laughs> it's a straight fact. I think we should dive into some Bobby Brown as well, because yeah. uh, his little solo career yeah. is fine. Yeah, it is fine. He's got some songs on there, so. His little solo career, you said. Yeah, because it wasn't long. Short-lived. Sad, but yes, it was not that long. Isn't this the first song of New Edition that we've done that has had Bobby in it? I believe so, yeah. yes. yes. Because <laughs> we did older, and he was in it early on. But you could just see from this video that they were going to be stars, though. I mean, they, they already had the dance moves. I was going to say, you seen the... You know, you saw that in there. They just, somebody comes in rapping, and then they go right back in line to dance. In the background, I mean, who does that? I'm surprised Bobby didn't have like a little part, yeah, yeah. like a little solo. Part. I never noticed. Yeah. I never noticed that. I guess he wasn't as big, you know, to them. Was Ralph always in front though? Oh yeah, like he Ralph was the front always in front. Man. I think that's why Bobby left because he got yeah. jealous of Ralph. Yes, and he wanted his own spot and they wouldn't give it to him. Yep. Because I was about to ask, like, do they have any other songs where somebody else kind of takes the forefront? Uh not the full front, but they probably have other songs that. 
different people of them sing, like different ones of them yeah, sing. Yeah, they have parts. But yeah, but Ralph is the main guy. But Ralph is the main <laughs> guy. But you can tell, though, like, he just he just fits the part, man. I mean, honestly, it kind of sounds like a young Michael Jackson. And to be honest, that's probably what they were thinking at that time, too. They were like, oh. Yeah, we got, we got another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got another. Because you've said it before, like, when you are a guy and you can do that high-pitched Yep. Type of singing. And as a kid, though, it's even harder because you got to be able to control that pitch. One thing you can say about, like, boy bands is it is so impressive that you can sing like that and dance to that degree. We might not see it to that level ever again. I mean, maybe not in our lifetimes. I'm not saying never say never. Yeah. But in our lifetimes, though, I don't know. Who was the last boy band in sync that was yeah. big? Yeah, but they didn't dance like New Edition does. That's what I'm saying, man. They did dance, but not like New Edition. Nobody's putting that work in anymore. Yeah, no. Not happening. <laughs> Just appreciate them. Just appreciate them. Three for three, uh, that is definitely going on the playlist. Mm, so Along with like the it. other two. Okay. You guys are making me a fan of New Edition. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.